Hey there guys, it's Tina and I'm back and I hope you guys are all doing well and staying safe. If you're also back, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me again. But if you're new and maybe you like what you see, please consider subscribing. We have tons of fun here on this channel talking about makeup and all things beauty and sometimes, just sometimes, we mix in a bit of fashion and that is exactly what we're doing in this video. So here's the thing. I went shopping, okay? I know, I know, I really shouldn't be doing this. However, I was still in the zone, okay? I was in the party mood, I'm celebrating a recent collaboration launch, and I'm excited because I have a couple of events coming up. Valentine's Day is today, actually, as I'm filming the intro, but I filmed this video before Valentine's Day. So I went shopping for all these outfits so I would have options. Also, these outfits will lead into my New Orleans trip that's coming up in April. So I wanted to try these clothes on with you guys and get your feedback because I truly need some help. I need you guys to help me figure out which outfits go best with what event and which ones I should return. So I went to Last Call by Neiman Marcus, which is the aftermarket Neiman Marcus, you know, you know, after the season, they put all the clearance items there. Listen, don't, don't, don't you dare look down on Last Call, all right? We don't have time to be spending $2,000 on dresses. Who got the time? But they do have some nice pieces. So I went shopping at Neiman Marcus. I picked up some dresses and some shoes. You're gonna see some shoes in this video as well. I also picked up some pieces from Amazon because I've heard so much about Amazon clothing and I've seen all these hauls from these fashion influencers. And I was like, all right, let me try out some of their dresses. So I picked some up there as well. And I also went to Steps New York or Cara. You may see that clothing store inside certain malls. But they have really fun styles. They're low key kind of fast fashion like Forever 21. But when you need a quick outfit that still looks good, it's a great place to be. So I have three events that I am planning for. Valentine's Day. Today, I already wore the dress that I'm wearing. Yeah, yeah. And we also have a Sweet 16 for my cousin coming up. We also have a party, so it's a brunch daytime party that I have to figure out an outfit for. And then I have my New Orleans trip with the Creators and Friends group, and we have different events that I have to dress for. So all these dresses that I'm gonna try on for you, I'm going to figure out which ones I will use for each situation in each event and I want you to help me out. So I'm gonna try these outfits on and you tell me which ones you prefer, which ones you like the best and yeah, give me your feedback because I really need your help, all right? So let's go ahead and jump into trying on the different dresses. All right guys, I am pumped to show you these clothes. I know, oh my God. I am so excited about these pieces but I truly, truly need your help deciding what to wear when and what to return because I'm still within the return period and like I mentioned, I'm the return queen so I have no problems returning stuff. So I'm gonna try on all these outfits for you guys and you let me know, okay, what you think. I'm also going to give you my feedback as I try them on. So as I mentioned, I have a few pieces from Last Call by Neiman Marcus. It's like the little outlet or like the offshoot of Neiman Marcus where they sell the after season clothes. Listen, I don't care. I don't care. I don't have to be in season. As long as I like the clothes, that's all that matters. So it doesn't matter if I'm current, all right? So I have Last Call by Neiman Marcus. I also went to Steps New York. So that is like a little boutique store, but it's really like a Forever 21. Just a little bit more stylish, if I'm honest with you. They're available online and in certain malls as well. It's either Cara or Steps New York. They're the same company. And then I picked up a few pieces from Amazon because I've heard so many people talk about Amazon clothing and how fantastic they are. And I'm like, are you only saying that because you're getting paid? Hmm? Hmm? You Amazon influencer, you? So I purchased a few items to try out. Some of them I'm not too excited about, but enough yapping, let's jump into the clothing. Should we start out with the Neiman Marcus stuff? That's what I feel like we should start out with. And like I mentioned, there are three events. One, Valentine's Day, I'm going out, 
I need an outfit. And then two, we have my little cousin, Sweet Sixteen. The only requirement is that we don't wear pink, but it's dressy. You're going to get dressed up. It's like a whole situation, right? And when her parents throw parties, they throw parties. It's a dressy event. And then three, I have a party to go to that's a breakfast, brunch, day party kind of setup. I don't know. All I know is it's an outdoor venue. It's in Florida. It's going to be hot, but also it's going to be cute. So we're going to try on the outfits and figure out what I'm going to wear. All right, Neiman Marcus. I have this first dress, all right, that I had to fix myself because this has some chain detail in. One of the chains like popped off, but it wasn't a big deal because it had the loop. It was just that it came off the attachment. So I just reattached it, no problem. This was on sale because they're having this crazy sale at Neiman Marcus where it's up to 70% off at last call. So you can get these discounted, like way discounted. So let's read the original price for this. Whoo! Child, what? Absolutely the hell not. So the brand is Et Oaks. I'm going to say Oaks. I don't know. But the original price is $1,495. Who are you talking to? Absolutely not. And then the sale price at Neiman Marcus was $598. Uh-uh. I think I ended up spending $100 on this dress. That's what I think. I actually have the receipt. Let me tell you. All right. I finally found the receipt. Oh, my God. So this was $149.20 for this dress and it's final sale. So no returns. It's fine. I'm fine with it. It's $150. All right. And the material high quality. Everything about this dress is high quality. So let me put it on and show you what it looks like. All right. So here you have it. And again, this is a size four and I feel like I'm in between sizes right now. I'm still trying to figure out what my true size is, but I'm in between like a four or a six, but sometimes I can wear an eight and I'm still wearing like mediums and small. So I don't know child. And with European styles, especially Italian clothing, they are all over the place with the sizing, so sometimes I have to size up. So here it is. It's a cowl neck dress, so you see it droops in the front, and I'm going to need to put nipple covers on, I am sure, and I'm probably going to have to put some kind of fashion tape here to hold the sizing so my boobs don't go jumping out. But you see the chain link detail, right? So chain link straps down the back. And we also have this little chain across the neckline, which I feel like you can put in the front or in the back. But yeah, I think this is a cute little dress. What do you guys think? Now, my back is still in process of being on big, but don't worry about that. I have some little, you know, my new roll right here is cute. It's fine, it's fine, nobody cares. But you see how the side boob is happening? I'm gonna need fashion tape, right? So my boob don't go popping out. But I think this is a cute little situation. It has a little, what do you call this? Little divide right here. It opens up and it has a little ruching. So it's a little bit more forgiving in the tummy fupa area and it's black. So you know, you already know. And even the little chain straps can kind of hang off the shoulders. It's like, it's not too fussy. It doesn't think too much of itself. So I really like this dress. Can you imagine this with my Michael Kors stilettos? Ah, uh, stop it. So I think this is a definite keep, but y'all let me know. I think this is a great date night dress, right? If you're going to a nice restaurant, I think this is cute. All right, next dress. Here's my favorite one. All right, this I'm thinking is gonna go for the Sweet 16. It's a long, elegant, flowy, like bronze brown dress. And it also has a cowl neck. Let's look at this pricing. So this one is $136. I got 60% off. So this one was also 60% off. Loving it. So final sale again. And it's the shade Copper. It's from Finley. It's a classic woven gown, Simkai in Copper 4. So it's a copper. That's what they're calling it. But let me put this one on now. All right. So here we are. Here's this one. So, definitely need shapewear under this. I'm wondering if I can get the bloat down so I don't look so, you know, 
foopy hair, but listen, listen, all right, we're just gonna work with it. But this one I took the tag off because I had to get it mended. The zipper in the back right here, it had a little bit of loose thread in, so it was slightly open. So I had to get it mended. And the worst part is, the dressmaker didn't even mend it properly. She used black thread. Why would you use black thread on a copper dress? Hmm? Hmm? So I went in and mended it properly myself. Isn't that a bitch? Like, it was only $6, but still. It's the principle. Why did I have to fix it myself? Anyway, nipple covers definitely needed in this one. You know what? I'm gonna put my nipple covers on. Hold on. Nipple covers are all over the place. I got mine from Boomba because they're very smooth and they're my complexion. However, Boomba has really, really bad customer service, so I don't recommend it. You can get nipple covers at Ulta. It's fine. Those work well, too, because I have them. So, shapewear is definitely needed to smooth out this part, but I love this dress. So this one has a zipper in the back. Unlike the black one, which was just a pull-on, but this one, I think is really, I love the silhouette, okay? The only situation is here. So I'm gonna have to use skins or something, I'ma figure it out, but it has a high thigh slit. It's very flowy and long. Oh my God, like, do not. Do not play with me right now. I feel so elegant and like la 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 in this. Like, what are we talking about? What are we really talking about? And what I find also about designer dresses and like higher end brands when it comes to clothing, they cut them a lot longer than the usual, right? So this dress is really long. So I'm able to wear my heels with these, which I'm gonna show you the heels that I picked up as well. Oh my God, I love the shoes that I picked out to match this dress. So. Again, we're going to kind of steam this out, nipple covers in place, right? Get the shapewear in gear, and this is what I think I'm going to wear to the Sweet 16. I think it's fun, it's light, it's airy, it's not too showy, but it's really elegant and cute. What do you guys think? Tell me about this one. That's what I think I'm going to do with this one. This is the Sweet 16 party dress. Let me know if you agree. All right, this next one. I picked up because I thought it was cute, but I'm thinking of returning it. I really like the fringe hemline, okay? That's what pulled me in. This one was $112, and so I think I ended up paying $44 for this. It's not that pricey, so if it fits, I'll keep it, but you guys let me know, because it's still $45 that I can return and get my money back. There's no size on it. It just says, let's see what the brand is. This one is Ronnie Kobo, and it's an extra small, which makes it really tight on me, which is why I'm thinking of bringing it back. It's a zipper back. It has that really structured material, and it's ribbed, but I feel like I don't want to squeeze into an extra small. If it was a small, it would fit better, but... I don't know, it also has a high neck. Let me just show you what it looks like on. So let me tell you something about this dress, okay? Whew. This is how I know I'm not an extra small. I needed a small in this, but yikes, okay? It took me about 10 minutes to zip this guy up in the back. Oh my God, what an ordeal. I felt like I was working out, I'm sweaty. It's a whole situation. So this is definitely not a dress that I would want to put on when I'm alone because it's hard to zip up on your own. Anyway, look how snatched I am though. Snatched, <laughs> which is why I kind of like it. It's an extra small. It's uh, about a full size smaller than I need it to be. I can still breathe though. We're fine, we can breathe. But look how cute. Look, I'm like, la 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 la, lee 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 lee, and it's like a slanted hemline. Here's the back. She is cute, and the foops is a little bit concealed because of the ribbon of the dress, because of how much it sucks me in because it's so tight, and how structured the material is. It's kind of like, remember bandage dresses? It's sort of like that kind of material, right? So it's holding me in. And I can still breathe. It's not like uncomfortable, uncomfortable, except for around the neck and a little bit under my arms. Because again, it's small, so it's up under my arms. But I feel like I can sacrifice for this dress. What do you guys think? 
you let me know because this is one that I'm debating about returning. And I don't know if I'm going to lose more weight or if the weight is going to redistribute, which is what I've been finding. I'm not necessarily losing weight, but the weight is like moving away from places and going other places, which I'm fine with. I'm fine with. I need it to move from here, though. However, you know, I don't know if my body is going to change in the coming future so it will fit a little different. So for $44, 45 so $45, do I want to keep it? Tell me what you think. It's, it's a cute dress. And I feel like this can be a party dress, a dinner dress. It can be a little bit more casual. So it's not like a fancy restaurant. I feel like this, this is a cute little dress to have a moment in. Let me know what you think. Again, this is the one I'm contemplating about returning because it wasn't final sale. So I could return this one. All right. All right, I need to get out of this and I think it's gonna take me another 10 minutes. <sighs> but anyway, let's go on to the next dress. All right, so this one, oh uh, my God. So this is another like coppery brown dress. Let's see if the tag's here. Yes, yeah, so this is from ALC. Due to the delicate nature of the fabrics and yarns used in our collection, please also be mindful of sharp objects and jewelry. Handle with care. Okay. So, all right, you're warning me. Okay, fine. This is a size two, and it was originally $695. It was marked down to $340, and then marked down further to $243, and I believe I paid $109 for this one. No, no, I was wrong. It was $97. $3 difference, but anyhow, this one, here's the thing. It's too small for me. I'm not a two. I'm definitely not a two. This extra small I squeezed into, fine, but I'm not a two. I'm a four or a six, a true four or six. I'm nowhere near a two, but I love this dress so much. Tried it on. I was in the fitting room like, let me see how this works. And I couldn't figure out like how to drape it. And I'll show, you know what? Let me put it on so I can show you what I mean. All right, so I kept my bra on for this one because I want you to see what I mean. The dress is cute, right? The fit is cute until boom. So you want the whole side of me, boob and everything to be out. And I don't know if a size two would matter. Like if you were a size two, how would this fit you different? Like your whole boob side would be out, right? However, I had a vision in my mind, right? Walk with me. So I said, hey, I can like do a little situation, grab here and pin it over here and make it a moment. Like I can make this work. Like don't play with me. I will adjust accordingly. And I went back and forth in the fitting room, right? And I left the dress. I left the dress behind because I was like, no, I don't want to be bothered. And I kept thinking about the dress. Like days and days later, I kept Going back to the dress, I'm like, oh my god, I should have picked that up. I should have picked that up. And if you know Neiman Marcus Last Call, any of these like outlet stores, you know it's so random. It's not like a stack of the same dress in different sizes. It's probably sometimes just the one size left and you have to grab it when you can. So in my head, I'm like, oh my god, somebody got it already. The store is huge. I'm never going to find it again, even if it's still on the racks. So... Went back and forth, days and days, and still thinking about the stupid dress. And then yesterday, I went back in store, and I saw the stupid dress. I finally found it on the rack. And I was like, all right, we're going to get this dress. And we're going to figure out how to wear it. So I went and got, um, I figured like I could do a brooch, or I could do some kind of clip to clip this into place. So I could hide my boob, first of all, and cover up this big ass gap in the dress, right? So walk with me again. I grabbed these earrings from Marshalls. I was like, I'm going cheap. These are from House of Harlow and Marshalls, right? And they're like a button, right? It looks like a gold button. I'm like, this could work, right? It's not a brooch. So I could definitely figure something out, right? So I'm going to try to do that right now. Let me do that off camera and be right back. All right, all right, listen, okay? I need to obviously work on this a little bit more, but you see the vision, right? I wanna do a little, a little situation right here, right? And then we'll have a little tuck moment, but this is what I'm envisioning doing with the dress. I have to figure out the boob part, but if I just 
move it over, do some boob tape, because, okay, let me take the bra off. Let me see without the bra. All right, so here we are without the bra. It's still like, so, okay, this is my shapewear. You're just gonna have to deal, envision it just being plain old skin. But you see how the boob is kind of there? So if I did boob tape, right, double-sided tape, taped it right there, did the little tuck in the little, you know? Did a little tuck situation, and I think, he, I think this could work. I think this could work. What do you think? I, I really think it could work, guys. Let me pull down the shapewear, because the shapewear is also throwing me off. But, right? Tuck this a little bit, tape it down a little bit. I feel like this could work. What do you guys think? I need a lighting adjustment. This light, like, look at how beautiful this brown copper is. It's so stunning, it's pleated, and it's like a high-low hemline, or I'm creating that with the little tuck. I could somehow figure out how to make this work. And I'm going to, because like I said, I was thinking about this dress way too much to not pick it up. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna figure it out. I'm gonna do a little adjustment here with like some safety pins <laughs> and then I'll do the little brooch or the little earring because I feel like the earring works because it looks like a little button yeah I'm gonna make it work guys I know you shouldn't be buying clothes and have to do all this but I'm gonna make it work lord this shapewear is showing all my rolls <laughs> it looks so terrible let me pull it back up but yeah we're gonna make it happen with this and my safety pin we're gonna make it happen. Anyway, let's move on. You guys are probably like, you should return that dress, Tina, and it might be one that I return. But again, I feel like I thought about it way too much to not give it a chance. So I'm gonna work with it a little bit more and try to figure it out. All right, jumping in to show you the update for the bronze dress. I did do my little adjustment to make it fit the way I want it to fit. So it's going to be off the shoulder with this shoulder off, you know, with the gap. And I stitched and gathered some of the material right here and put my little earring as the button, which I think works out really well. And the only thing I really have to be concerned about is probably using some fashion tape to hold this side down so my boob doesn't pop out. But I can also have some side boob, like that's a moment. And then the back is just gonna look like you know gathered I'm not too concerned about the back but here's what it looks like now right do you see me hold on let there be light right I think this yeah it works out now I'm very happy with the results so let me know what you think all right last dress from last call is this beautiful neon number Oh my god, I couldn't say no to this one at all. So this one is from Liv Foster. It's a size 8. See where I'm like, I can wear an 8 sometimes. So this one was originally $330. It was marked down to $82. And I think I got it for like $30 something dollars with the 60% off. Delicate fabric. Please remove jewelry and watches before trying on. Girl, I'm going to try it on right now. So let's put this on. Y'all, stop playing with me. So this is the very first dress that I bought, all right? This one has the silver straps. Oh my God, they're bejeweled. It's a whole thing. It ties in the back because the boobs are a separate situation. You see the little tie and it zips up. It's like a mermaid shape and it doesn't show the foops as much, I feel like. Bear with me, okay? Just walk with me again but look how cute this is so I thought about wearing this to the sweet 16 but obviously it's way too much it's too much I don't want to be the center of attention the birthday girl needs to be the center of attention in a neon dress I'm gonna stand out so I can't wear this so let's see neon tanger size 8 sleeveless cocktail dress love it and it's an 8 a six could maybe fit, but I feel like the eight is perfect. It's not too tight or too snug, which is why I said like an eight will fit too. But stop it. I love this dress 
so much. It zips in the back, as I mentioned. And I feel like it's such a cute little silhouette on me. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. I love this so much. All right, should I show you the shoes? Because the shoes are really gonna set this off. Let me show you the shoes. So the shoes I specifically picked up for these dress are from Aqua Azora. This is a brand I never heard of, but I looked them up and they have great styles. And there's so many styles available at Neiman Marcus. Now I don't know the actual style for these because that's not the actual box. It just happens to be an Aqua Azora box, but these are the shoes. I have foot pedals in here, so don't mind that. But these are the shoes. I got them in a 39, which I think is a true eight and a half, maybe a nine. But I think it's really like an eight and a half. I think a 40 is a true nine. Someone mentioned that to me that people think it's 39 is a nine, 38 is an eight, but it's actually not. It's more like an eight and a half if it's a 39. And then a true nine is a 40. Told you the European sizing is kind of tricky. So these shoes, I'm gonna put them on for you, but look at the colors, all right? First of all, it's like a multi-chrome shoe with orange, pink, green, purple, blue. But the dominant color is this coppery orange, which goes with the dress. Shut your mouth, it goes with the dress. Look what else it goes with. It goes with this dress, because I tried it on, right? It goes with this dress. It also goes with this dress. It's the perfect multi-chrome, colorful shoe that still kind of acts like a neutral. I love these so much. So these are like a three and a half stiletto and they have the single strap across the toe with a slingback strap that is a little bit tricky because it wants to slide off your foot if you don't get the perfect fit. So what I did was use little no slip strips on the back of the strap to kind of hold them onto my foot, but these are tricky to walk in because again, that back wants to slip off. But these are super cute. They're comfortable to walk in. They look great. And once I tried them on, everybody was like, oh my God, those look so good. You should get them. And that's one of the worst things that I did at that store is try on the shoes because I was walking around in them and all the salespeople were like, oh my God, those look so good. And even the customers were there like, oh my God, those look so good on your feet. You should get them. And we influence each other in the stores. You know this. You've seen someone trying on shoes and you're like, oh my God, get those. Those are stunning, right? That's a part of the game, the shopping adventures. So, stunning shoes. Let me back up. Can you get an idea of what the... Oh! I look like... I'm looking in the viewfinder and I look like a little neon situation off camera. So that's what I'm saying. I don't want to be neon at the people them Sweet 16. But... I had to get this dress. There's no way I was gonna leave it. It's such a stunning dress. And the shoes just sold me on everything. I was like, the shoes set everything off. I want it, I want it, so I got it. And I have two more pairs of shoes to show you that I picked up at Neiman Marcus, but I wanna save those to the end. Let's jump into the other dresses that I picked up. And I kinda need to move faster because this is getting too long. So, I went to Steps New York, as I mentioned. So the copper dress, I went after, right? So the copper dress kind of has the same style as this. So this is, does it say what it is? No, it doesn't. I will try to link the style, but it's a royal blue and it was on sale. I got it in a size small. And I'm gonna try this one on so you can see, this is the style I'm kind of envisioning for that copper dress, all right? So let's try this one on. Yes, so here's the vision. Here's the vision, and this one is in one of my favorite colors. I love a royal blue. So it's a single shoulder thing, right, off the shoulder. It has a little keyhole opening at the side. It zips up on this side. Do you see? This is the vibe. It's pleated in the front. It has the little high-low hemline. Oh my God, I love this dress so, so much. So this is the idea. Something similar to this is what I'm trying to achieve with this copper dress. And I'm going to figure it out. I'm going to make it work because I love that color. But this dress, if they had this in the copper, I would get it. And the quality doesn't feel that bad either. And the size small fits perfectly. And because of the ruching, the pleating, it hides. You see, like I took my shapewear off. I'm naked right now. <laughs> I'm not wearing underwear. That's all I'm saying, but do you see it? Oh my God, this is so cute. 
So love this, not returning it. Can I wear this to the Sweet 16 as well? Like this is an option for the Sweet 16 too, right? Ah, I love this. You can't iron it. You can't really even steam it. You just gotta go with the material texture, okay? And look at my boobs, they look so good. Nipple covers again, but we're fine. Isn't it adorable? All right, next dress. So, okay, I have the day party to go to, right? So I had picked up this dress from Steps again a while back, right? And I brought this to Jamaica, wore it in Jamaica, but I saw they had the pink one. So I was like, I think I'm gonna wear this pink one to the party. It's kind of a sweater material, right? Has a little fringe and it's kind of distressed as well. So I feel like this can work for the day party. Let me try it on and show you. And I'll also, do I need to try it on in the green? I'll try it on in the green. We'll see. What size is the green? A large. So I got a large in this. So let's put this one on. I like it. It's cute. So it's form fitting. So again, shapewear is neat. Y'all, y'all, I need shapewear that actually sucks in this. <laughs> Like, I don't mind, like, I really don't care. I'm too grown to care right now. But when I'm wearing stuff like this, I want it to be kind of more seamless. Because the majority of it, like, sits right here. But it depends on the day, too. Because if I'm bloated, it looks bigger. But then other days, it's not as big. Anyway, here's the dress. Let's stop talking about those insecurities and issues. So whoever wants to join the FUPA crew, we're embracing the FUPA. Here's the dress. All right? She's cute. All right, she's cute. I look a little pregnant. <laughs> ah, murder police. However, look at this. It's cute. It is cute. I think this is gonna be the dress I wear to the party if I figure out the shapewear situation. But this is the option for the party. I don't think it's gonna be too hot either. Even though it's like a sweater material, it's still like a little airy and it's short, so I don't know. Let's try on the green version. Here we go in the green. Is the green a little bit more forgiven? I don't know, but the green option, I feel like I'm gonna wear one of these. I don't know yet though. Y'all let me know what you think. Is this like too much? <laughs> this is distracting me because it looks so obvious on camera, but in person and when you're out, no one cares. Like no one gives a damn. Other people have like little, you know, rolls and stuff. So no one really cares. But like on camera, I'm showing you my outfit. I'm like a little bit self-conscious about it. I look seriously pregnant. I'm gonna just pretend I'm pregnant. I might as well, cause somebody gonna ask me. I'm gonna just pretend. No, I'm not, but I'm gonna pretend. But here's the green. All right, I'm done. I feel bad in this. All right, <laughs> moving on. I have this other dress. Where did it go? Oh, there it is. All right, so this, uh, this long dress, also from Steps. So this is the last one from Steps. It is so cute. This is a really beautiful like summer dress. It's neon, it's orange. Like if you have melanin in your skin, if you're tan or dark skin, orange. You need to get the orange, okay? So let's put this one on. All right, y'all. I love this dress. I love everything about this dress. The silhouette, the scoop neckline, the little t-strap in the back with the gold you know the little gold jewel situation the chain right here and then the little tie crisscross thing in the back with again the little droop at the butt crack like what this is so cute this is cute i love this i love this dress tell me this isn't like a perfect vacation dress right you're going out to dinner at night right you're on the resort you're just like all right let me slip this little dress on it's super cute this little orange detail the little crisscross back like everything about this dress is amazing and you know the other thing that's amazing it goes with the shoes again all my dresses are going with the shoes don't you love that for me but come on sandals could work the little heels could work because it's long I love this and it isn't really like accentuating again the unimpressive parts it just droops over it it's just a little ruching it looks fine and I love it I love it I love this dress not returning it all right we're done with steps 
Now for Amazon, which I think I can speed through because these dresses are like whatever. I picked these up for the Sweet 16. So I figured I could get a dressy dress for the cheap and try it on. So I'm going to start out with this blue one. I don't know guys, this doesn't look that impressive. The material's kind of cheap feeling. Yeah, Grace Karen is the designer, I guess. And what size did I get? A six. So let's try this on. I have the bag clipped on because I'm returning most of these. Guaranteed, I'm gonna return these so I wanna have the packaging for it. So let's try this one on. All right, so here's this one. And in theory, it's a gorgeous dress, right? I love the navy blue, the crisscross detail, the little lacing with the nude lining, which is kind of nude on me, it's fine. It's cute, it's cute. The hemline is cute. I just feel like the silhouette would definitely look better if it was from a higher end brand. Certain details aren't as, you know, seamless. They aren't as finished, you know? They aren't very elegant. But I do like this dress. I like the fit. It looks great. It does look great. And they have quite a few colors in this. And the six fits really well. So I think I'm like a true six, sometimes a four. But you see? It's cute, right? Definitely cute, but I feel like... I don't wanna wear this to the Sweet 16. It fits nice, it's not like it doesn't. I don't have much to complain about, honestly. I feel like this would be great for a little formal event if you were going to one and you just wanted to grab a good dress. It's cute, it definitely is cute. It's just not what I'm going for. I feel like it's too elegant. It's given me wedding, it's given me like a ball, but it's not quite a Sweet 16 party. You know what I mean? It's a little bit too dressy, too formal, some may say, but I mean, it's cute. It's cute, it's just the finishing isn't as, you know, as right as it could be, but it's still cute, you know? The fit is nice. If you have really big boobs, you're gonna probably have issues, but for me, it works really well, no bra. I'm good. I think it's cute, it's just not quite what I'm looking for, and I have nowhere else I would wear this to, so I'm returning this. Yeah, this is going back. All right, next. We have this green one. Again, kind of an elegant situation, but let's try it on and see. All right, all right, this one is cute too. It's cute, again, the finishing could be a little bit more elegant, but the style is okay. It's that kind of slinky, shiny material. It feels cheap, the material itself, but the style is okay, it's cute. The finishing is okay, but again, it's kind of not as tight and as clean as I would want. But again, what do you expect, right? From massly produced, cheaply made clothing that is being sold to you at a bargain price. Not much, right? So again, it's a little bit too elegant for what I'm going for. It's not the vibe. And again, I couldn't wear this anywhere else but like a formal event. So... It's cute. I like the little off-the-shoulder detail. I like the rouging across the bust line. I like the rouging in the center. I like the little split at the thigh. I like the length. It's cute. It's cute. But I don't love it. So, next victim, same treatment. We have, you know what, I'm gonna save that one. We have this other green one. Let's try the other green one because I do love an emerald green. Well, this is not really emerald, right? What kind of green is this? What would you consider this green? Either way, let's try this one on and see what it looks like. Okay, this one is defective, all right? The material feels a lot better. It's a thicker material. Still that shiny, like stretchy material. It's kind of like spandex, polyester blend. I don't know, but I love the little detail the little you know it's cute it's more structured because of the material it's like a scuba spandex and the fit is cute it has the little cross detail in the front you know it's cute however the zipper seems to be broken because I can't get it past this point and it's not because it doesn't fit I got it in a medium just like the green one I didn't tell you that the other green one is a medium as well the fit is fine at a medium, but that zipper is busted, so it's over for me. Again, very elegant. It's definitely like a wedding dress, right? A formal function dress. Um, it's fine. It's fine. 
I'm gonna take it off because I'm tired and I hate this dress. <laughs> I don't hate it, but like all the Amazon dresses are just like disappointing me. And I guess I should have expected it, which is why I saved them for last because I'm like whatever for them. All right, I'm gonna save my favorite one for last. Let's try this neon one out. Don't ask me why I got a neon ass dress, but I did. All right, here we go. I love a neon moment. And this one is, yeah, it's fitted, it's tight, it's ruched all over, so it should be a little bit more forgiving. And I do like the fit. Um, I'll tell you the size in the description box. I think this is a medium as well, but it's spaghetti straps. It's a simple dress, right? Zips up in the back. It's short. It's cute. This is one that I picked up thinking I could wear it to the party. What do you think? This one or one of the... You know what? This one with the right shapewear could work, no? What do you think? This one is a potential, right? Feels good. It's okay. It's what I would expect from... A material like this is kind of a mesh overlay right and then it has the lining underneath but it's okay it slipped on nicely there are no zippers right it's just a slip on it's a situation it's a moment what do you think about this one let me know yeah let me know about this one this is the potential all right next one we have is this taupey dress all right this one feels like the best material wise it's one of those, again, bandage type materials, but it's very smooth, it's very silky, and I like it. So let's try this one on. All right, see now this one? Come on, apart from this, right? Shapewear again. But apart from that, I think this is super cute. Again, it feels really good. The material feels really soft and silky. Like, I would enjoy wearing this one. This could make a party dress too. What do you think? It's casual enough, right? So it's not too fussy. And it has a great little style to it. High-low hemline, but the hemline is like a little frilly thing. The back is great. It's a slip-on, right? So it's over your head, pull it on. But like the little tank top neckline, I like the silhouette of it. As long as I get the right shapewear on this, I think this could work. For real, like, it's hugging everything. I kind of low-key like this one. This is a potential, too, and I like this more than the neon option. So maybe I should do this one and not the neon, or the neon and then not this one. Y'all let me know. And then the final one from Amazon, all right, it's this blue one. This is definitely that bandage dress material. Oh, yeah. And this one I was thinking could go for, again, for the Sweet 16. So let's try this one on. All right, all right. This one, listen, hugging all the right places. And it's kind of sucking me in too. I love this one. It has like the mermaid shape to it. Definitely gorgeous. And this color, yes, it zips up in the back and it's a gold zipper. Perfect for gold accessories, right? I like this one guys I do like this one it feels good the finishing is a little bit more sophisticated it even has like the rubber lining so it doesn't slip down so like this one it's a little bit more casual too so I could wear this out for dinner it's not just for a formal event right this one I could mix it up with and I feel like it's hugging all the right places and it's a lot more forgiving with the color and with the silhouette. Beach. This one is cute. Out of all the Amazon dresses, this one is my favorite. So I feel like I want to keep this one and then either the neon dress or the taupe. What do you guys think? This one I think is a vibe. Y'all let me know what you think. The zipper is a little bit iffy. Again, the finishing, the components, of these dresses are just not gonna be the best what do you expect but overall I think this one was the most well constructed well put together the zipper was a little tuggy but it went up you know it's a straight gold zipper that I think adds a little extra to the dress as well what do you think I like this one I like this one a lot and it's like a midi length Ooh, 
love this all right I do have one more dress it's a dress that here's the thing I found it at the Neiman Marcus last call but I couldn't find my size I found it in an 8 which I told you I sometimes can wear an 8 the 8 fit okay but it was just a little bit too loose so I knew I needed a 6 I found the 6 online ordered it but it was four hundred dollars I know it's going back it's going back absolutely and it's not just the price why it's going back so I got the 6 tried it on it was way too tight I'm gonna put it on right now for you guys so here it is but this company is called Outnet and I think they sell designer dresses and you know clothing at a relatively discounted price point so if you wanted to pick something up that was off season but still brand new you could get it so this is what brand is this Rebecca Valence there you go and this is the perio gown and like i said at neiman marcus they had it in the eight but they had it in like two and zero and i'm like i'm not fitting those so i picked up the six they say this is a six i can't tell from the tag there's a 10 on it it's definitely not a 10 i'll tell you that much but let me try this on and you can see what it looks like okay um i kind of take a little bit of what i said back because this like I said, I fell in love with this at Neiman Marcus. This is like structure and elegance and yas, okay? It has the gold chain detail for the straps, right? It has this little, what do you call this? The little V cut for the bust line. It is boned right here in the bodice. So it's structured, it fits, it's like, uh, yeah. And then we have the straps that go back to a little snap fit situation here that's also gold. And then it zippers up in the, you know, the rest of it. Like, this is nice. This is, oh. Then it has the split up the thigh. And this material is heavyweight, heavy duty. It feels so good, high quality. And now I'm just like, whew, this is so nice. So this I picked up to wear to the Sweet 16. Again, it's very dressy, very elegant, right? What? Eleganza. Like, don't play with me. It is a cutie. She is a cutie. But $400? I feel like I want to spend that for the dress. <sighs> Should I just eat it and keep this dress? I have a little bit of time to return it, so I'm going to leave it up to you guys. If you think I should keep this one, let me know. I don't have anywhere else I would wear it to if I don't wear it to the Sweet 16. Unless I go to, again, some formal event, which I don't foresee myself going to anytime soon. Let me know what you think. I'm going to look back at this footage as well because it's going to help me decide myself what this looks like on camera. So let me know what you think and now let's jump into the shoes portion because I'm going to need to switch the angle of the camera but I'm going to show you the three pairs of shoes that I picked up. Yes, I know I picked up more shoes but when you see them you're going to understand why and I showed you one already. We'll show you that up close so you can get a better feel for it but the other two you're, you'll understand. Let's jump into the shoes. So here again are the Aqua Zora Slingback Heels. I love these so, so, so much. These are gorgeous. And like I said, they work as a colorful neutral and can go with so many different outfits and so many different dresses. Oh my goodness. The only thing is, like I said, these can slip off the back of your foot. The strap is a little bit looser. Not ideal, but I did go ahead and add my foot pedals. So my foot fits a little bit more snug in the front and then the back of the heel I have just the no slip tape. So that should work out and I think they fit and feel a lot better now. And I mean come on, don't these look amazing? When I tried these on in store I was wearing jeans. They looked great with skinny jeans. They look great with the dresses that we tried on and they just look great overall. I love them and this is such a sexy silhouette because it's a single strap across the toe and then the rest of your foot is kind of bare. 
so it gives this nude illusion oh my god love 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 these all right next up you guys are going to gag so i hope i didn't just oversell it but these are from gian vito rossi and it's an italian designer and when i saw these i had to grab them they're at the back of the store with the tens because this is a size 40 that they claim is a 10 but i think a size 40 is a true nine and you need to size up when it comes to European and Italian brands. But look how chocolatey and beautiful these look. So these are a translucent plastic, obviously, right? But pointed toe, slingback strap with a little buckle there. But you don't need to unbuckle it at all. It's about a three and a half inch stiletto. These are so hot. And when I tried these on in store, right? I was walking around, like I said. And everyone was like, oh, you have to get those. Those are so sexy. And I had to almost fight three different people. Three different women tried to take these up from the counter. So I was waiting on another pair of shoes, right? They went in the back to grab the other foot because it's just a single foot that's on the floor. And these were just sitting on the counter. And this woman came up and grabbed my box. I was like, up, 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 up that's mine please replace it she's like oh they're yours i'm like yeah thank you so much then she brings her friend over and she's like oh i'm just showing her the shoes i'm not taking them i'm like oh because now i have to stand guard right so i'm there minding my business lo and behold two more people came up and like they're taking up the box and i'm like yeah those are mine thank you so much they're like oh and I'm like, listen, go find your own. And there were no other sizes for these shoes because again, you only have like a single size sometimes and it's either you get it or you don't, right? And this was the only dark chocolate pair and you can see how stunning this is. And if you've watched any of my other fashion and shoe try-on videos, then you know I love a chocolatey brown. And I love the silhouette of this shoe again because it gives this nude appearance because it's a slingback. I love these so much. They're really comfortable as well. And everybody loved them. I don't know if I'm overselling it now because they're pretty basic. It's a pretty simple shoe, but it's so stunning. And it's versatile because you can pair it with a dress or with denim. I mean, come on. I love these so much. I think my brown chocolate shoe hunt is over. I have all the chocolate brown shoes I could need. I am in love. And then the last one you're really going to gag over, okay? I know, these are Giuseppe's. Oh my God. Now I am not a label whore. I don't care about designer brands. I really don't get into high-end and designer labels, whether it's shoes, clothing, or bags. I'm not really fussy. As long as something is cute, I don't care what the price is or who the designer is. I'm just gonna wear it, but these, oh my God. So here's the thing. <laughs> Look at these, first of all. Another like three and a half, maybe four inch stiletto. But look at this chain detail. It's like a Cuban link chain, right? That you could actually wear as a chain. And if I can figure out how to get this off the shoe, I might try that. But it's a pointed toe stiletto, single strap. And I'm going to have to put no slips in this one because this is a size... 40 and a half which means it's a nine and a half which is bigger than my foot obviously so i'm just gonna you know go with it because i listen these are mine i don't care there's not too much room in the front of the shoe because it has a pointed front you see so there's not too much of a gap however there's a little bit of a gap at the back so i'll just put my no slip pads in and that should add a little bit more bulk to the shoe and cover my foot. But you wrap this chain around, right? So apparently someone tried to buy these before, but they couldn't figure out how to actually wrap the chain. And I was like, Psh, thank you, you left it for me. So there's a little hook on the end. Let me show you, oh my God. So you see this little hook right here? You just slip it into either one of the links or the chain and bam. Girl! When I tell you I fell in love with these shoes like right out the gate, oh my goodness. Now these are pricey. They're Giuseppe's after all. So I was wondering if I should get these. There was another pair that I was looking at because my goal was to get 
a silver shoe, right? To go with the new styles of silver that's popping up everywhere. I think Beyonce and her Renaissance tour is what really started the silver trend because everything is silver now. And I'm like, I hate it so much because silver is not my jam, but I'm getting into it. So I have a few pieces and a couple of dresses, like the black dress that I tried on that has the silver straps. Yeah, so I wanted silver shoes to go with that. But silver shoes just look like wedding shoes. They just look too formal and too dressy. So the silver shoes that I found, they didn't have my size in them. I tried to shove my foot into a size eight. It was not happening. It was too tight, too uncomfortable. I just couldn't do it. But then the other silver shoes that I saw from Aqua Zora, same brand that we have the colorful multi-chrome nudie shoes in. Uh, I just didn't like the wrap chain. So it was a similar design to these, right? With the chain wrapped around the ankle, but the rest of the shoe was silver. To me, they just looked too formal. And then I saw these. Bigger than my foot. But when I tried them on, girl! And they're Giuseppe's. They were also discounted, I think. Let me see. I have the receipt. Hold on. These were originally $5.80. I had 20% off, so I paid... For, for <laughs> $464 for them. I know, but like Giuseppe's with this chain ankle detail, the sexiest thing I've ever tried on. Like I can't get over these. They're so good. Oh my God, what do you think? Do you think I overdid it with these shoes? Cause I think I did. So I have to hang it up. My shopping card is now on the shelf. We're not buying any more shoes, clothing, or accessories. We're gonna wear our closet. And in fact, I did do some declutter. You might see behind me <laughs> that little pile or clothes that I'm getting rid of. So I have to take those to the donation bin. But I decluttered my closet and now I'm just gonna wear what I have. So here you have the shoes. And let's go ahead and wrap up the video. Boom. All right guys, so there you have it. Have you decided which dress is your favorite? I need to know because like I said, I need to figure out what I'm keeping, what I'm returning and what I'm wearing for certain occasions. So for Valentine's Day, I actually went to like a late lunch. All the reservations for dinner later at night were taken. So the black dress didn't quite make sense. I ended up with a 3.30 reservation, which is a late lunch. So I wore the long colorful dress with the T-strap in the back from Steps New York. Remember that long flowy one with the tie in the back and it had a little droop? It was really pretty, that orangey multicolored one. That's the one I ended up wearing to lunch and it worked out really well. It was really pretty. I used my double-sided tape with my nipple covers. Gorgeous, oh my God. And I paired it with gold shoes. It worked out really well, but I need your feedback again. Which outfits do you like? Which one should I return? You know, which one should I wear to the Sweet 16? I'm still thinking about that one. But I think whatever I don't wear for the Sweet 16 and what I don't return, I can still wear them for the Creators and Friends trip to New Orleans where we have formal dinners planned and we also have some little dressier events. So I feel like I can squeeze in a couple of these dresses. But you let me know what you think. I love doing these fashion videos. They are fun for me. This one ended up being a little bit longer than I would like. But if you want to see fashion videos from me just let me know and I can keep them a little shorter a little bit more structured I don't know but in this one I just wanted to try on a bunch of dresses and shoes that I recently picked up again give me your feedback in the comments down below I will leave links to my Instagram and Twitter where you can follow me along and until my next video which will be very soon I'll talk to you bye guys